I came to Davis, I was in an unhealthy, long-distance relationship, and I convinced myself that my boyfriend was the only man who was important in my life, and completely forgot about God. In a turn of events, in an ugly breakup, I found myself at my lowest. When I returned for winter quarter, I would walk around campus, and the crew sandwich boards would always jump out at me. I remember seeing them in the fall and started thinking about it. It wasn't until one of my classes in Olson that a student came in advertising the new crew weekly meeting room that I considered going. As a little background information, I lived on a floor where God's name was used more as a curse word than anything else. And on that life-changing Thursday night, all I remember telling my floor mate was that I would be back in an hour or two. Alone, I went to the crew weekly meeting without knowing a thing about this fellowship besides the fact that they met on Thursdays at 8. From the first meeting on, everything got better. I heard about the freshman Bible studies that were located right in the dorms and had worshipped God through music for the first time in what it seemed like forever. So that next week, I again told my floor mates audios and that I would be back in an hour or two. At the Sabuto Bible study, I actually made Christian friends. The concept of having friends who had the same beliefs and faith as me were completely foreign. I thought having close circle of Christian friends was only for the perfect Christians. From then on, I reestablished my faith, went on retreat, took part in discipleship, found a spiritual home in a local church, and publicly dedicated my life to Christ in June with my best friend. I would like to say that everything has been smooth sailing, but like life, the journey of my faith continues to have bumps on the road. The only difference now is that I have people I can lean on and who ask me, can I pray for you? Which again, is totally new to me. When I learned my first two quarters at crew will forever stay with me. Besides my ex, the reason that I did not try out different fellowships at the beginning of the year was that I was intimidated and thought that I could be good, a good little Christian all on my own. Obviously, I was wrong with those accounts. I was intimidated by the mere thought of a fellowship because I thought everyone there would have attended Christian schools, read the Bible backwards and forwards, and were completely sound in their faith. That myth was shattered when I actually got to know the people there and find out that many were just like me, others, others had been through some of what I have, and some people were new to Christianity entirely. As for me, being able to be perfectly fine on my own, it was only after the women's retreat that I really got a glimpse of how beautiful a relationship with Christ can truly be. I learned more in those two quarters than I probably had in my entire life up until then. And it's only now that I realize it's because I have to be found there that only He can satisfy. Looking back now, at times I think I was insane to try to fellowship without someone by my side. But then I remember, God was actually by my side, pushing me through the doors of my call. I also remember being so concerned with the fact that I was joining in the middle of the year, and all the freshmen from Segundo had already bonded, and there had been no room for me. But of course, I was welcomed with open arms and felt more at home than I ever did back in my door. And it is now that I am extremely honored to say, but because of the work that God continually does in me, I'm a part of an action team in Segundo for the incoming freshmen. Every day, I am amazed by the work that God does, and I'm extremely excited for this year. Even though I did not try out other fellowships, God led me to the one that was perfect for me. Thank you, and God bless.